Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Divinity Original Sin. In the last episode what we did was we defeated the troll and his three boar friends. And uh, now we're going to move down here. Rather than move up to Silver again, which I still kind of don't want to do right now. We're moving this way. Uh, this is actually the way forward in terms of eventual story progress. There's all these guys up there. And there's some uh, orc friends here. I'm surprised that hit at 59% to be honest. I'm super surprised that one hit. Second hit. So I don't know where the uh, the orcs are. Because there seems to be only this one. I'm sure more will be spawned. And will be summoned in presently. Ramming speed! Ramming speed. Hopefully I can kill this guy before that happens. And before the, the spawning commences. Okay. Moving forward. Uh, shoot these guys in the head. Oh shit. I thought that might happen. Uh, too much blood has been spilled. And now Joey is uh, also in a bit of a predicament. Luckily his stun res uh, resistance is really shit. It's like 17%. If he resists a 17% stone, he deserves to resist it. But I don't think it's going to be a big problem. There we go. Goodbye. Right. We'll take this stuff. Why not? Okay. And we'll keep moving. So I think that was probably a scout. And he would have run off to go and tell his friends about us. And get his, uh, his orc posse to come and attack us. Well, unfortunately for him... His orc posse never showed up because he was stunned and incapacitated and couldn't do anything. And that's how I like to play. Uh oh. There are more orcs here. Okay. Let's do it. I hit three things. One of which I couldn't see. They're level 12. What level are we? 10. Okay. So a little bit stronger than we are. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm on cooldown. Uh oh. Uh, right. Heal Tio. Are there any orc rangers? No, I don't think so. I think it's just uh, the warriors. That's fine. That's a good thing. Put them down. Yeah, I think they're all just elite. Like they're fairly strong, but they don't have anything special going on. Right, couple in. We're going to give Tio all the heals. Forever, by the way. It's because he needs to be strong. If they're all melee, then I assume they'll all go for Tio, which means that he can survive a few hits. 26. 76. Also, armor rating, like I've said before, only really works for enemies of your level. If they are stronger than you, it doesn't really work. So Tio will still be taking quite a large amount of damage from these friends. Okay, well. Bear Daughter's crippled, so she can't actually act. So I might as well use Farseer, and then go in like this. Get a bit of the old uh, damage in. There we go. Uh, that's for Tio. I guess we should just go in deep. Ooh, three crits. Nice. And then just stay still. He's bleeding. He's hurting. He's really not feeling too well. I'm gonna stun the shaman because I think the shaman's worse. Even though I will be beaten to a pulp by these friends, I think it's still better to just absorb damage if I can. Holy shit, they hit hard. They hit very hard indeed. Okay, well. I may die here. Don't think there's much uh, arguing about that. But I give it a good, I give it a good try, guys. Not really. It was a bit of a shit show. There we go. He's dead, though. Yeah, I'm gonna load that save state or waypoint. Level twelve, maybe. A bit strong 
for me. But instead, I'll go this way. See what I can fight instead. We don't want to fight level 12s, basically. Anything lower than that, like level 11, level 10, we'll fight them. Bash any goblins that so much as look at us. And allow each and all of them to our presence. That's a, that's a orc boss, an orc chief. I definitely don't want to fight her. Okay, well, this looks like the end of this uh, little excursion. Let's move up this way instead. Let's boost it. Let's boost it and run, and run across. Meow. Okay. I mean, it really doesn't save me that much time, <laughs> the uh, haste, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, hello. You there, your night shift. Oh, please come to our aid. My wife and I are stranded here. What are you doing here? Oh, we're refugees, my liege. Two of the far too few souls that managed to escape Hunter's Edge when the orcs invaded. We were hoping to reach Silverglen, but we were attacked by highwaymen. Oh. Those devils would have scalped and skewered us if it hadn't been for Alfie. Well, the brave creature bit one of them in half, though not before being frightfully wounded himself. Tell me about Hunter's Edge. Oh, it was not but a small stop for trading folk along the long road south to Sysiel. Well, we got along all right, but now our little home's finally been undone. Orcs invaded. And the source hunter who was meant to protect us didn't save a one of us. Let's discuss Alfie. Bravest beast of burden in the borough is Alfie. But the poor blight is bleeding like a stuck pig and can't move no more. Which means we can't move no more either. Oh. Why, it would be folly to abandon a bandit killer in a wood full of bandits now, wouldn't it, your night shift? Besides, all our worldly wealth is strapped to his back. We'd be destitute without it. Okay. And yet... We can hardly stay here forever. The Silver Glen is close enough to see the chimney fumes from here. Mara absolutely refuses to leave Alfie's side, and like I said, I'm inclined to agree with her. If only <clears throat> a stout champion would uh, step up and lend us a hand. I see. Maybe I can lend you a hand? Oh, we'd be mighty grateful if you would escort us to Silver Glen, your knightship, but for it is our aim to set up shop there. A new smithy in a oh, new town. Without a smithy. Alfie, though, without the tools he carries, I'd be like a fisherman without his rod, grasping for salmon with his bare hands. Never could I produce the quality of work for which I'm renowned. I see. Our predicament is clear, and the biggest problem is that Alfie's wounds are so dire, no ordinary healing potion will work. He needs... Well... I don't know what Maybe the power needs, of a bloodstone. But they say miracle cures are produced by the priests of Silverglen. I'm going to escort you to Silverglen if you are. We are, my liege. Though, like I said, it would grieve us dearly to leave Alfie behind. I see. You're right. We should try to heal Alfie first. You're right. We should try to heal Alfie first. Indeed. He carries your belongings after all. I'm glad you've agreed Alfie needs to be saved before we can depart. Uh, please leave no stone unturned in your search for a concoction that will heal his wounds. Fair enough. Will do. We got altruistic, uh, which is the one we want because it increases our reputation by two. Feeling hot under the collar. And reputation simply means that we you, uh, get a lot less uh, money for price things in shops. Like uh, if it costs a thousand normally, at fifty reputation it might cost eight hundred, something like that. I assume you address me for and so let the heart I didn't mean to address you, uh, uh, Jahan. I'm sorry. That was a void. Did, Did you I... see that? Did... A shadow <laughs> just sprang to life. Yeah, and then it disappeared. Strange magic indeed. Perhaps we're nearing the White Witch's lair. I guess so. There's also this bridge that I want to go over first. Any anywhere I can get fights is basically where I'm heading. You can see how we're all, almost back to where we were. But I just want to explore thoroughly. There's also this fucking thing, but I won't do that yet. Okay, let's go back. If 
I like how the camera gets stuck here, right? But then as soon as you go on the bridge, it goes <laughs> Sorry, I, I find strange things amusing. Let's go down here. It's another ta it's another void watcher. It's at level nine though, and he's level ten. Okay, there's nothing behind here I need to be aware of, is there? Nope. And down here, there's a chest down here. I'm always gonna open chests, you know me. You know how I do. Lucky, find a blank skill water book. Or blank skill book of water, however you want to say it. Let's inquire with our good friend, the Immaculate ah, Summoner. The Hello. It is my greatest pleasure to announce to you that we Immaculates have captured the feared White Witch mm. and quarantined her house of horrors. Okay. Yes, the greatest known threat to Rivalon has been neutralized. Thanks in no small part to you, Source Hunter. Your activities in Sycial drove the snake to her den, and that's where we Immaculates sprang our trap. Yes, sprang our trap. I want that. I want that really badly. Quite badly, I do. I want that quite badly. Uh, I guess I could just get rid of the mermaid's kiss and then give you a bit of gold. Thank you. I need to question the white witch, but thank you for that. No, I can't. It's a question of the White Witch about her involvement in the murder of Councillor Jake. Ah, the High Councillor of Sycil. We mourned his tragic death. Yeah, we're just going to question her, you know, and uh, put her to justice, that's all. Every <laughs> honours the memory of that noble man. Mm. Still, Source Hunter, I am sworn on my life to guard this quarantine. I serve a higher authority than yours, and will not waver in my duty. You said you mourn the death of Councillor Jake. With your help, we can put this murder to rest. Damn it. I do mourn the Councillor, but one matter has nothing to do with the other. I've sworn an oath, and I'll not tolerate even a Source Hunter's interference. You always if speak to people I with Joey. He has the charisma. Point, I'll be forced to summon the greatest depths of my powers to stop you. Fair enough. So, he's saying if, if, he, if he sees us go past, he'll kill us. Right. No, not range power stance. I'm glad it doesn't let you do uh, stupid things like that. <laughs> Barrage is also a very good skill, so I thought I'd get it while I have it. Multiple arrows in a straight line, each dealing 58 to 98 piercing damage each. So it just goes do -do 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 and the damage isn't separated. So yeah, he's saying he won't let us through. Unless, if he finds us go through, he'll kill us. Fortunately, I don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. I can't move. Oh, I remember now. The void crystals. Uh, I, I might want to load that. I might want to load that a little bit. A little bit of loading up. Depends how badly I get killed. None of us will be able to act for two turns. You see. These void crystals want to stun you forever. Yeah, okay. I need to shoot them. I need to shoot them and get rid of them. And then they won't be a big problem. If I don't, uh, it becomes a massive issue for me. Is this after I already spoke to the bloke? And already opened this chest? Yes, it is. Okay. Right, bear door. You've learned? Yes. Uh, shoot the crystals, please. Just need to destroy the crystals. Thank you. Uh, any more crystals we should get rid of? Yeah, this one here. We can get rid of this one too. Good shit, Bear Daughter. This is why I trust you to do these things. Because you're excellent. Right, here we go. On wood. Keep going. We'll just destroy all of them. Your crystals mean nothing to me, friend. 
Nothing, I say. Okay, here we go. Hello. Fuck you. <laughs> Get out of here. Can't hit me. Or stun me. There's nothing to stun. Can hit me with head voice though, which is kind of annoying. But both blinds seem to have missed. Ow. No, 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 no. Tio doesn't give a shit. The first issue is thinking that Tio cares about what you're doing. And he doesn't. Uh, your second issue is thinking that I care about what you're doing, Mr. Void Watcher. And I don't. Nimble as a fox. Nimble as a fox. I'm going to move to help Tio. Always my goal is just to help Tio out as much as I can. He is our saviour, our rock, our justice, our strength. Yeah, he can't see. You're blind, you can't see me. You silly boy. Why are you so silly? <laughs> right, let's get rid of the Void Wanderer. And try and freeze the other one. I don't know if this works. It probably doesn't. Oh, it did work. Okay, that's good then. So they're all incapacitated right now. Or well, they were. Uh, unfortunately, Tio... I don't think you can kill him, but you can give him a good old... Oh! Oh! That was a good old smack. I was going to say I don't think you could kill him, but you can give him a good smack. You did more than that. You fucking owned him. You got stunned for the privilege, but... You did, you did sort of own him completely. Okay, so let's use... Can I use Barrage and hit both? No. It's kind of situationally useful, but it is very useful if you get enemies in a straight line. Very, very useful. Okay, what are we doing? I guess we just shoot the Void Watcher in the face. There's no point in using shocking anything because they are, as you may have guessed, immune to shock. Since that's all they use. They're also immune to poison, I think. But I will try and do this anyway because I feel like it should work even if they're immune. But some reason this one doesn't. No, this time it did. Okay, so I guess they aren't immune. Right. I love how they're, when they blind, when they blind, when they're blind, they can't do anything about it. I love it. Almost all melee attackers just don't do anything when they're blinded. They're like, ooh, don't know, mate. This guy's alive again, the one in the back, but I shouldn't be too concerned. Stab, stab, stab. All they do is head voice and electric moves. If I can survive the electric moves, then I'll be good. Yeah, and then he does that. Well, that's bad though, because he had so much AP. He actually just got to, like, kill me straight, straight up. That's the one downside to blind, is that they uh, store their AP up forever, essentially. And once they store their AP up, they uh, just come at you with a massive amount of damage. And it's kind of silly. But alas, we're not to complain. We are to make do with what we've got. Dio's moving up. Joey's healing himself. We should be good. Okay. Such liberal wastage of resurrection scrolls. I know, I'll buy more, don't worry. When I need to, I'll buy more. It's, it is a waste of money, and I, I, I appreciate that. But I just don't, you know, really feel the pinch yet. I will eventually, when I'm running out of scrolls left, right, and centre, and I need them. Then I'll feel like an idiot, but no glory for now, we'll be death. fine. Okay, that's that. Uh guess we just run up with Joey now and start going in for some swingy attacks. I love how I can just do like just basically smack him with anything I want with my staff and not have to worry about being anywhere near him. Just shoot him from here. 
But let's show you Barrage, why not? This is what it does. Three shots, and it goes through enemies, I think. Unless it just hits one person. I think it might only hit one person, but even still, that's uh, a lot of damage on one guy. Upwards of nearly 300, if I get good luck. And lower their defense. Okay, so let's open this up. That is a waypoint shrine. Apparently I already unlocked it, but I don't remember doing that. Well, holy hand grenade. Nice. Uh, where is it? It is uh, Lucula Forest, Cabin of the White Witch. Is the one I just unlocked. And there's this force field around it that I can't seem to unlock. That's a shame. In the meantime, Bear Daughter, could you uh, shoot this crystal for me? Uh oh. Do I get back here? You're yeah, good, thank you. <laughs> I didn't know there'd be a second fight. I was being foolish. Oh well. I thought it was only the one fight, so I was just casually walking around. These are all ranged. So they're, they're a lot worse. By talking, I'm talking a lot worse. In fact, they just killed Joey without me being able to do anything about it. Nope, not happening. I'm not going to let you fucking kill Joey before I get a chance to act. That ain't cool, bro. Oh, now I've got to fight the first fucking fight again. But this, t this time I might be able to save a... Uh, a, po a potion or two. Or a resurrection scroll or whatever. It'll be fine. Okay, they're all gone. Don't worry about it. I guess they have high um, initiative because they always act first. Ow. Wonder just how high their initiative is. I'm imagining very. Oh, fuck, fuck you. You ain't gonna kill me. But, but fuck you. I'm not in the mood to deal with you. Suck my dick. I'm gonna fucking kill you. One shot, baby. One shot, one kill. No luck. Your skill. Okay. Get blinded. And get hasted get run away <laughs> okay Whee. okay I love T.O. for this move oh, oh actually I like all this isn't a T.O. specific move but it is very good the ability to knock people away and deal in a unimaginable damage to them it's just like the, the best I love it Yeah, he'll hit Tio because it's the only thing he can see. But Tio's good for it. He's fine. Right, let's shoot this guy. I think Barrage also can't miss, so that's why it's good as well. Oh, look at that. That's like 180 damage that I couldn't. That they can't block. Honestly, who can say fairer than that? Well, he's dead. Like, the poison will kill him. Okay. Uh, I could head by... Yeah, look, but I can't, because they, they're all immune, so... I'll hit the one over here. And then I'll try and freeze this one. Target is out of sight. Nope, apparently I can do it just fine. There we go. So only, the, only this guy will actually be able to do much. He'll attack us with a stat, like a stunning attack. That's fine. 
Tio's good for it. He's loving it. But he's dead. This one will die as soon as we do anything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we'll bleed this one out. Down you. Didn't work. Oh well. We we'll get to just shoot him with the uh, staff then. And I guess I'll just shoot him with the staff. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I can heal Joey. He's going to heal Tio, but he's too far away. I mean, Joey's actually the better choice of healing because he can actually do something. Get it. Get ahead. The Thorn of Rivalon? I've never heard anyone call you that in your life, Joey. Please. How does he come up with this shit? The Thorn of Rivalon, that's what they call me. Who? Who? Who's they? Coming air again, I see. Hmm. Well, if I can shoot him through the gap, yeah, I definitely can't. But he, uh, their daughter has like 12 AP, so she's fine. Just two shots to the dome will do. Please, my love. Thank you. But this time, we're going to heal properly. And we're not going to succumb to our foolish desire to run forward for no reason. Okay, so where's our goodies? Over here. I'm fairly sure it's about the same every time. I think I got more gold this time, though. How much gold do I have? 7,896. That's good. That's very good. Okay, so... Yeah, I need to destroy this crystal. I need to run, in, run into this guy with Joey, and then as soon as he spawns, run away again. There we go. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. And hopefully they spawn outside my range. They did. So I no longer have to worry. Okay, so now I can go in when I want. Which means I'm going to shoot them with Bear Daughter so they have to come to us to attack us. That's the first thing. Joey's still going to take some heat, but that's okay. This is what I want. I want them to be stuck, so they have to run straight towards me. The big guy in the back actually hasn't seen me at all. That's even better. Is it cheating? I guess so. I guess it depends on what you mean by cheating. It's more tactical advantage. Uh, let's... I guess we'll just wait. These guys are pretty much close enough to actually attack us, but I kind of want to see if they'll come closer. Almost as a little bit of an experiment. I'll freeze one of them. The one in the back. I want to try and get them as close as possible so I don't spawn him. Okay, they're close enough that they'll just attack us from here. That's fine. Understandable. Understandable. Fine. In which case, I'll shoot this guy in the head. Oh. And then Tio, you can just charge straight into them if you if you please. What do you mean the target's blocked? What are you talking about? Oh, because I can't go through the fence because he's in the way. I see. Like this. Your grave opens to, to welcome, welcome your... You. Yes. And then stab him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is worth, that's worth laughing about, to be honest, Dio. That, that was some sick shit. You really did a number on him. 257 damage is like... Almost o OP territory. I'm going to keep shooting the guys in the back with Bear Daughter because that's kind of her job as the ranged character. Ah, damn it. He's going to get to act. Oh, no, he didn't get to act. Good. Goodbye. Right, so now this Void Wanderer is going to get to act, though, for real. It's going to become air. He's going to just stand there like a pleb. All right. Fine. We'll take two 86% shots, then. Okay. 
uh, Tio is going to have to be the one to go forward. Knock him down, and then we'll walk forward and actually activate this guy. Because we're going to have to. Oh, Alright, let's that. all move forward. We're moving up. Moving. Moving. Time to. Nothing can stop me. Okay. Oh, shit. I did the wrong thing. Oh, well. Bedor can act next turn. It'll be fine. Can a spinning do through the fence? Oh, I, I could have done, but I can't anymore. That's fine. He's dead. Right. So that's that. Uh, let's heal our helmet. Three hundred and fifteen gold. Don't mind if I do. Wait for this static cloud to go away, and then we'll attack the final one. Oh, there's two. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like this is a fight with like six enemies in it that I changed it to a, a fight with three enemies in it. I'll take that. Sounds good to me. Get out of my sight. There we go. Make him visible. Hello? Invisible is one thing. Wait, what do you... He's used all his AP up, he can't attack me. That's that's a very odd thing to do. Uh, invisible's fine. If I, see, if I know where he is, which I think I do, it's like over here. If you do that, you hit him and you reveal him. So, invisible's kind of like one of the worst things you can do against an archer. If it knows where you are. If it doesn't know where you are, then you can kind of just go with impunity and smack him wherever you want. There we go. Shoot you. Not enough for a kill, but that's okay. Uh, I guess I'll just freeze him. I was going to freeze the other one, but if we take no damage at all, that's better than taking some damage, isn't it? Oath of Desecration. He boosted his own power. Now what? Nothing. That's what I thought. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's dead. Uh, I guess I'll give myself faster, yeah? So I can attack better from far away. Uh, as for you, Joey, I guess we're running up. We're running up, boys. Damn it. That's why you don't run up. Can I knock him down? Yeah, I can. Then I'll just wait for the, uh, the static clouds to go away. There's no rush. I didn't actually see them. I had, like, video game of blindness. I didn't see them at all. Get barraged. Pew, pew, pew. Okay. Hit them. Kill you. Cripple you. Get crippled. Yes. Good. Uh, and then we'll just keep hit smacking him. He's like almost completely unable to do anything now. It's just kind of fucked. Which I like. I'm a fan. Huge fan of your work. I love it when you uh, kill the enemies and they all die. One of my favourites. Good. Right. We've escaped the void by the skin of our teeth. But it's actually all right. I'm just, I'm just destroying these, uh, these, uh, shock crystals. Okay. What else we got? Any more enemies to fight? I'm all about fighting the enemies, you know me. The void portal is like a very, very s honest portal into the void. You can't do anything. Here's Mushroom Ikari. Let's talk. Are you addressing us? I'm talking Mushroom now. I've seen everything. Oh, somehow we doubt that very much. Have you ever seen a dragon's pajamas? A rat in a Sunday hat? No, no, Source Hunter. We do believe this life hasn't finished surprising you. Not in the least. What do you know about this barrier? It's quite a lovely sort of barrier, isn't it? Who doesn't enjoy a gentle, breezy motion against one's backside after all? Hmm. But then again, we suspect it's been hoisted up by some not-so-savoury characters. 
and we happen to know just how to remove it. Oh, you do? The only trouble is finding the right sort of clever, sort of intrepid sort of person to entrust such a secret to. Yeah, I'm your man. Here's what we propose. We've a fresh batch of three brain teasers hot off our thinking caps. Perhaps if you can answer them correctly, we might find you spirited enough I see. to trust with the barrier's deepest, darkest A riddle, eh? But it isn't all fun and games. We hardly offer second chances to the beriddled. If you give us a single false answer, we'll clam up like morning glories at midnight. So, do you have what it takes? I do when I save. <laughs> I'm up to the challenge. This is better news than the Orc Queen misplacing her thumb screw. But enough delays. Let us begin. Your first riddle begins thus. Okay. The ravenous brute tore down my chartreuse gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots, wrenched my children from me, and fed me to the hogs. Who am I? The ravenous brute tore down my chartreuse gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots, wrenched my children from me, and fed me to the hogs. Uh... You're an ear of corn. That's right. An ear of corn fits perfectly. Bravo, bravo, bravissimo. An ear of corn indeed. Can you imagine a sheep in a chartreuse gown? A pumpkin with silken hair? The fantasies of a fool. Now, on to our second riddle. Okay. And this one's sure to stump you. No, it won't. <laughs> I cannot lie, I cannot lay, but only lie. Who am I? I cannot lie, is the first statement. I cannot lay, but only lie. Who am I? Stone. That's right, a stone fits perfectly. You've done it again! <laughs> I'm thrilled, I'm amazed, I'm liable to, to present the very last riddle. This one will blow you out of your stockings, so hold on tight. Okay, let's do it. I've a neck as long as twice the width of a toad's tail. As many eyes as half the number of seasons per That's annum. That's two eyes. I'm known to cause hurricanes in the Far East merely by taking off two minutes too late. Who am I? Hurricanes in the Far East merely by taking off two minutes too late. Uh... Two eyes. Hmm. Hurricanes in the far east. Man. That's right. A man fits perfectly. Ha! We Damn it. knew we weren't to be bested. There's Damn no it. riddler among us like a fungus. Fuck you. you shh. Shh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I thought maybe like the man taken off in a plane. With a, a weather vane. Damn it. That was just me guessing. So it's a butterfly. So I like the butterfly effect, you mean. Is that what you're talking about? A butterfly. Ooh, very good. Very good. The last person who tried to solve that riddle buffed away in a small impish huff. Mumbling about space time, but not you. Zigzags, you please. You stuck it out until the very end. You crafty little so and so. <laughs> you know about my saves? So, Shh. What would you like to know? What do you know about the barrier? One thing we know for certain this barrier doesn't belong here. The wizard Maradino knew as much when he started poking around here. He developed a spell to remove oh. it. But. His fancy was caught elsewhere before he bothered to implement oh. it. Down the spell dropped, and up we scooped it. Unfortunately, we aren't quite human enough to get it to work. But you've proven yourself just the right sort of clever sort of intrepid sort of person we'd love to entrust such a secret to. What do you know about the White Witch? We thought you'd never ask. What would you like to know? Who is she exactly? Some call her the Guardian of Lucula. And by our estimations, she's more than earned the title. She's a healing witch, 
concerned mostly with the safety of the living souls, animals and plants alike, of this forest. Okay. And she's been here since even before our great, 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 great grandmother, Francisca Toadstool the 44th, can recall. We've long lodged adjacent to her little cabin, and she used to greet us with a how do you do every morning. Oh. We do hope she's not entangled in anything unsavory. What a shame it'd be if someone with a penchant for heavy-handed pole wielding moved in. Do you know anything about the White Witch's involvement in the murder of Councillor Jake? Murder? That doesn't sound like her at all. No. Much more interested in patching things up than tearing them down, that one. Mm. Then again, it's hard to tell on what stalk a person truly stands until you've seen them at the end of their rope. Isn't that so? We suppose if someone held a sword to our caps, we'd fight them with every last spore we have. And where is she? Somewhere in her cabin, as far as we know. The last we saw her, she and her apprentice, Almina, oh. were rushing inside, whispering to one another. They seemed rather anxious. Perhaps they knew that those immaculates were on their trail. It's possible. Okay, well. I'll take my leave. Did I get a book? Look, Maradino spell, or do I just know the spell? Barrier removal spell. Maradino and the Magnificent and Merciful Commands. Mushrooms and Make Merry. By my masterful affirmations, may this barrier be gone. Because Maradino had some talent mixed in with all that hot air. He certainly knew how to remove. The sound goes away here because it's very specific. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the fuck have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Am I going to have to fight like seven guys? I guess I am. Each attacking Tio, of course they are. I mean, he has like a bajillion health though, so I, I'd attack him too. Ow! They have shadow damage. You can't really defend against shadow damage. It just hurts a lot. Okay, right. This calls for a bit of the old goofer. Nice. Oh, you stunned yourself. I guess they get st you get stunned if you try and attack them. That's not great. I don't love to see that. Okay. Right, come in air. Uh, we'll do a spinning do because that can't miss. Even though we're blinded. And then, uh, as for you, I guess we'll just move one of these guys to a different space and time. Now, nah, actually, we should do this. Increase all our health. I wonder if these guys even give me any experience. Hopefully. Freezing's good. Okay. I'll remember that for next time because we're probably going to have to fight this fight again. What now? Cursed means I have a low chance to hit. That's fine. Yeah, they keep shooting shadow shit at me. Could you stop? That's the technical term, by the way. Shadow shit. Now, fuck off. Still does so much damage to me. Okay. Don't even know if they can be stunned. Yeah, they're immune, see? I thought as much. I think they're just straight up immune to all, uh, all kinds of electric damage. It means Jayhan's kind of useless. Where are you going? Walking away. Tio, mate, no. Survive. Tio, survive. You gotta survive, Tio. You are only hope. I haven't got enough things that like debilitate people at this sort of range. Ow. Fuck off. So annoying. 
<laughs> no hitting me. Okay. Get bled. Yeah, I think you get stunned if you hit them. At all. Yeah, so I was trying to get stunned even then. They want to stun me. They want to stun me so bad. I run, they fall. I like this game. Damn it. Stunned, stunned again. Yar. Stunned again. Cut down in me prime. So I was. Yar. At least Bear Door can act again now. So we should be good. I guess that's the main annoying part of them. Is that they uh, keep going until they stun you to death. And that's all they've got. I mean, it's still pretty good. But it's not the worst move I've ever seen. Really. When you really boil it down, it's not actually that bad. They don't do a huge amount of damage. It's just there's so many of them. Joby, he's fine. I'm loving it. I'm living the life. If I'm going to do this, I might as well the hit them like that. And then hit this one like this. If we can kill even one of them, On the men. we'll be in a lot better position than we were before. A lot better. There we go. Okay, so we're all kind of at half health now. Kill the Void Weaver, hopefully. There you go, elements. he's dead. Yeah, I didn't get anything for it. So they aren't worth anything either. That's kind of sad. Oh no! Not blind. Yeah, you can also shoot through doors because the door doesn't count as a uh, a barrier since you can open and close doors. They don't count as walls. I wonder how long they like live for. Is it, I, I think it might be infinite that they live forever. But I kind of hope that wasn't the case. Fading fast. What? Hello? How did you hit me? That was weird. Please no. Okay. <laughs> We're still alive. Believe me, I'm just as shocked as you. Okay. He's dead. Back on my feet again. Back on my feet again. Uh, I think we might do this now. Tio's healthy enough that he can't die. Pretty much. As soon as Joey gets to act again, I'll heal someone else too. The curse. The mighty curse. Fair daughter's living forever. Yeah, I healed Joey because I thought he was the most likely to die. I think I made the right choice. Oh shit. It might not matter and they might kill me anyway. This is at full health, by the way. Whoa! Joey the fucking legend. He's done it. Okay. Gotta think about what I'm doing. Oh, my chance to hit is like poop. I remember. Just just burn him. Burn him alive. Burn him. Burn him. Be gone. Uh, first aid, Joey. Any healing I can get. Okay. Uh, I'm healing, like, quite a lot per turn. Keep Jayhan alive. Right. Then. Uh... Let's haste ourselves. And then run away from that guy so only this guy can actually hit us. That works for me. Okay. Now, Tio, what are we going to do with you? What are we going to do with you? Good question. I guess I can heal my own wounds. So I don't have to heal him with Jahan. Right. And then move forward a bit as far as I can go. See if I can hit them with anything. I don't think so, so I just I'll just taunt them instead. Hit me. Hit someone other than me. Okay. Kill myself. And I guess we'll try and freeze this this friend. There we go. Okay. So that's just these two basically. I wonder if we can summon more. I also don't know why they keep running backwards and forwards like that. It's very odd. Yeah, they keep walking up here and then changing their mind and walking back down. On the mend. Or sometimes even not doing that. 
Also, it appears I've, I've uh, messed with the leadership stat, and so we aren't getting leadership anymore. Which is uh, fucking with our... Uh, what's the word? Fucking with our ability to get initiative. There we go. Right. I know I shouldn't be hitting them like that, but I'm going to because I need to kill them. Mate. I don't know why that happens sometimes. He was like, eh, hitting. Overrated. No, I don't want to hit today. I'm quite okay with not hitting anyone. Yeah, fuck it. Ask if Tio gives a shit. If you don't. By the same token, I can also do that and hit them through the door too. It works both ways. But does that make it fair? Not really. But we can both sort of cheat the system. The lack of music is very disconcerting, to be honest. In, in a way, I like it. But in another way, it's kind of like very strange. What the hell are you doing, Tio? How have you missed so many times? It's possible that this guy has some sort of uh, physical attack immunity that I'm not seeing. I feel like I've been set in stone. It's very possible that that is true. I feel better already. Okay, so it's Tio's clothes that need to be fixed. Bow before the goddess is done. Yeah, he's summoning more guys. Oh, God damn it! Holy shit! Okay, so the summoner really is the one that needs to die. Although, I've lived up to this point. I'll probably live again. The problem is, there's so many. And they all... All of them... Uh, stun you if you hit them. So I guess I should be focusing always on the Immaculate Summoner. And just trying to kill him as quickly as possible. And nothing else. That could be where I'm going wrong. The biggest problem is, I don't really have any, like, solutions to this problem. Right, here we go. Kill the fucking guy. We're just going to shoot the summoner to death. There we go. That was some good damage. Uh, then... Oh it, costs... oh, it costs so much because I have low Hydra Sophist. I was like, what the fuck is this costing so much for? I wonder if this will work. I, I did hit him, and I did blind him. Okay. Uh. Hmm. What to do? I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> this is gonna hoit. A lot. If they all hit Jahan, he'll die. Hopefully they don't all hit Jahan. Some of them will go for someone else instead. But Tio, Tio's fine. Tio can live. He'll survive. He might not survive every attack if they all hit him. But you don't, basically, we don't want everyone to hit everyone. Hit Bear Daughter a few times is fine. Hit Tio a few times is fine. Hit Jahan a few times is fine. Don't just shoot them. Like that, to death. Can't believe we're going to have to reset this fight after I've done it for like 20 minutes. But then again, I went at it the wrong way, so it's kind of my fault. Uh, right. I might be able to kill him. Joey, mate, if you could, like... What do you mean, target's blocked? What are you talking about? Right. Not blocked. Not blocked. I can see him clear as day. There we go. If Tio could just like uh not die. That would be Funderbar. It's the choice between what I want to do. How do I want to go about killing them? I, I kinda need to kill him now, right? Like I don't really have much of a choice in that matter. I can't feel my legs. Damn it. Two of them have got knocked down. That'll have to be enough. Yeah, hit, but hit their door instead. There are three that are still alive. Their daughter's gonna die. 
because they attack like twice per turn. If it, if she doesn't die though, then we'll be living. Away. Ah, god damn it! Now he definitely won't win. Okay, well, nice knowing yet. Get fucked, me. I guess. Well, there goes my luck. Okay, well, Joey's at full health. Oh, he was. Full oh, okay, I'm loading. I'm loading. I'm loading. Okay, well, that's kind of just that's depressing. But I'm gonna play over until I beat him. So you're in it for the long haul. Thank you. Some talent mixed in with all that hot air. He certainly knew how to remove magical barriers, if nothing else. Does anyone go to enter the house? Through the void for now, source hunter. But believe rise, shadows of chaos and if only they didn't get like so much initiative that they always attacked first, it would be okay. But them attacking first is really annoying. Wherever you go, there Holy I shit! Am. You don't want to. You don't want to get attacks on top opportunity on these guys. That's bad. Okay, you don't want that. Them running away though, that's good. Basically, where I came and stuck was I didn't actually kill all of these guys before he summoned more guys, and then there was like six of these things. And three of these big ones, and I was like, fucked. But I want to kill. If I instead. If I instead just go straight for this guy, and that's all I focus on, it may be better. I don't, know, I don't really know how it's better yet, but I think it'll be better. We're just gonna go like balls deep. Oh, what have I, what have I done? Uh, it wasn't anything I did. Okay. Just gonna sort of uh, try our best to debilitate as many of, of them as we can. Yeah. Good. 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 I think I have to kill the summoner. And then the uh, void spiders after. But I've already shown that I can kill the void spiders. That's not a problem. The problem is that I have to do it after killing this guy. Who is also going to be attacking me. Joey will heal himself. Not to worry. There's only one. Basically I'm going to get hit by this, this guy here. Alright. If they all hit different people, that's good. We just need to do it quickly. That's the problem. Doing things quickly is hard. Doing things fast is easy. I want to hit only him for 200 damage. That may seem like the biggest waste of everything you've ever seen, but trust me, it isn't. Okay. Right. Uh, Joey. I'm going to go for the old backstab. Pathetic. Pathetic. And then Tio. Uh, I guess we just, like, yeah, smack him in the back. Okay. One more of them. He's walking away very slowly. Ow. Hit Bear Daughter instead. No? You want to hit Jahan? I mean, Bear Daughter has the thing that means that she's less likely to get hit. But I kind of don't want that. God damn it. Right, so he's dead. But the Immaculate Summoner is also almost dead. So with Joey's turn, I'll just revive Jahan. No problem. I've got, like, lots of scrolls. Lots of scrolls to revive people with. As good as a new penny. As good as a new penny. Yes. Right. 
Uh, and then we're going to go for the old... I guess I could try and kill him now, but probably won't work. So, instead I'll heal myself. I take my leave. Uh, and then we'll go in for the cripple on this guy. In for a penny, in for a pound. Can I move a little bit closer? Yeah. Get killed. Fucker. Right, so now I just need to kill these guys. They can't do anything else. Okay. Okay. I'm glad Jahan gets a turn. So he can heal himself. Five spiders to kill. Pick a ball to win. Pick a ball to bin. The only people from the UK will probably know what that is. It's not just me talking shit. Trust me. Tio's fine. He'll live. You'll live, Tio. Don't worry about it. Joey, though, he might not live. I hate the f these big spiders are actually the worst. I've just decided. They are such a pain. They do so much. These guys actually do a lot of damage. I didn't kill. I didn't hurt the spiders basically at all. There we go. Right. See ya. I'm out of here. Joby can't live this way. Tio can. Your head will spin faster than my blade. Okay, right. So far, so good. So far, so good. He's going after Jahan, or after someone who doesn't exist anymore. Oh, please don't all just go for Bear Daughter instead. Yeah, go for Tio. He's fine. Tio's loving it. He's living. Yes, there's basically four now. Nah, Tio's good. Don't worry. Alright, okay. So, time and time again, Tio has proven that he is the best in the game. And he should not be uh, treated as anything other than... A god. Because that's what he is. He is the god king. The true champion. The ultimate. I'm wor it's worth stunning myself for that. It's worth stunning myself just to get rid of them. What just happened? Kill him. Sweet relief. Sweet relief. Okay. Can I icicle someone? Can I icicle you? freeze him straight up. Tasty freeze. Mm. Uh, with Joey's turn, I need to heal Tio. Last thing I want is for the, the main man himself to get killed. That's not my intent. Okay. Uh, guess we'll shoot the Void Weaver who isn't knocked down. And then we'll first aid Tio. Just a little bit of healing. But it'll be worth something. <laughs> if it keeps him alive, I won't be complaining. Uh, so it costs four to heal. Don't think I'm close enough. No, I'm not. Nowhere near. But I can freeze the other one. So Tio should live. The boy who lived. Tio. Goodbye. A hundred damage. Holy shit. Hundred ninety-nine damage. Fuck me. These guys really don't know when to quit, do they? Okay. It's going well. I'm going to have to heal myself. Rather than anyone else, because this thing's just smacking Jahan like it's going out of style. Tio, please, don't not die. Need you to live. Thank you very much. So it looks like a ranged attack doesn't stun it, but I thought I thought it did, so maybe I'm just imagining it. Get healed, T or want you to be living. Manly, but okay, let's do it. You may be asking Joey what you're doing. Trying to bleed him. I 
Okay, it worked. I kind of didn't die. That's sort of what I wanted to happen. Okay, good, good, good. You may think, this is the most suboptimal thing I've ever seen. Uh, not really. It, it's good. Trust me. Okay, good. Right, knock him down. We're bringing them closer. Trying to solidify our efforts so they all get knocked down like that. Good. Shit. Hit him. Nice. I think, we could, I think we're in the clear now. Finally, after all this time. I think we've made it. I think we've finally made it. Okay. Uh, get shot. They're going to run away because that's the easiest thing to do. As soon as Tio can move again, though, you are fucked. You'll rue the day you fucked with me. I'll show you. Witness my power. That was a lot of damage. Witness me. Okay. Witness my true strength. Tio doesn't give a fuck about you. Doesn't give a fuck about anything besides the victory. The win. I want the win. Goodbye. Right, okay, well, that happened. That was a uh, kind of rough. I can't remember if someone died this fight or not. I think Jahan died, and I resurrected him. That's fine. Okay, so we used one resurrection score. It's all good. Oh, I gave them to this guy, and since I killed him, I get them all back. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't actually account for that. I didn't even think about it. But I killed that guy, and got all my stuff that I sold back. So it's basically free money. That's a good strategy. If you know you're going to kill someone, give them all your shit. And then get it all back. I was like, I swear I've seen these items before. But didn't necessarily make the connection straight away that, yeah, it's because I gave them to him. Into the fray once more. Okay, right, so from here, what do we do? I guess we're going to the right here, which is house, but that'll happen next time. So thanks very much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.